buddy welcome back to the channel now from our previous video we had a lot of people asking questions on how you can get admitted into a polish university so in this video i'm going to be explaining how you can apply online from wherever you are and how you will get admitted into a polish university so in this video i'm going to be explaining each and everything and how to fill in the forms so let's jump straight into the video now there are a few factors that you might want to consider before you select the university to go to and one of which is obviously the price but then this video is not about selecting the university that is cheapest or that is the most expensive right now i just want to show how you can apply so the application process will most probably be the same throughout the universities there might be slight differences but the outline is usually the same now you decide if you want to go at a university that's in the main capital of poland which is warsaw or you want to be in other cities you can be in poznan you can be in Łódź, you can be in wrocław you can be in gdansk lublin right so if you know which city that you want to live in you can just type in and search universities in, in Poznan, universities in Graz. So now I'm just going to demonstrate using the school that I recently graduated at, uh, that is Vistula University. So I'll just type in Vistula University. And this is the link to the website of the university. So now, now that I'm here, at the university website i want to go to apply so there are two ways you can go through here or you can go through here now there's also one thing that you might come across which is this pop-up that comes out over here this pop-up is will provide a chance for you to chat with students who are currently enrolled at the university Right. So if you want to talk, for example, there's this pop-up that has come and you can see this is the name and she's studying under, she, yeah, undergraduate and she's doing graphics design, right? It's a bachelor's degree in graphics design. So you can just click here and you start chatting with students, right? So I'm just going to close it. So now either you can click here on apply or here, it's still the same. When you click on apply, it should bring you to this site. First of all, what it's asking here is your citizenship. So I'm just going to translate it to English, right? And don't worry, the website will not be in Polish. Here it's showing Polish language, but it's not going to be in Polish because I'm going to show you how you can switch it to English, right? But for now, I'll translate it to English using my browser so that I can demonstrate. No, oh, it seems like it's, it's not working. Okay. But here, what it's just asking you over here is, are you a citizen of Poland? If no, then you click this red button, which says near. You click no. And what it's going to ask you is for you to select your citizenship. So you just open this and then you'll find your country. Find your country and then you click. I'm from Zimbabwe, so I click. As you can see now here, it indicates it's showing is it's showing Zimbabwe. And now, if you want to change the, as you can see, all the these navigation menus are in Polish. If you want to change them to English, you simply come here. As you can see, right now it's on Polski, which is Polish language, so you can change it to English over here. It will switch everything, and you will be fine. Everything will be in English. Now, when you are here, you want to search for the degree that you want right so this is the place where you search for the appropriate degree that you want but let's say maybe you don't have an idea there are also some featured programs that will be displayed if you just scroll a bit as you can see there are featured programs that are here right there is business and security analytics there's economics there's finance and accounting there's graphics international relations all this right but if you still don't find what you want here 
then you can still go back and search the exact program that you want right so for demonstration purposes i'm just going to scroll and click a random random program let's say i want to study graphics for example so you click on graphics it will bring you to this page which will show you a, a bit of info on the program so you'll see your study location will be in Warsaw. The type of study, of course, it's a bachelor's program and it's a full time. And the normal duration will be for three years, which is six semesters. So for one year, you have two semesters in one year. The study language is in English. This is important for you to check because there is studies in Polish and studies in English. You need to make sure that you select studies in English. Because if you if you don't verify this part, it may have it might have already selected Polish by default, and you will need to change it to English. So just make sure you check the study language. Right, the tuition fee is three thousand euros per year, which means for two semesters you pay three thousand, which is one thousand five hundred for one semester. Right. And then there's an application fee. You find out that in most universities, if not all of the universities, they do have an application fee. This one is non-refundable. This is this one is non-refundable, but the tuition fee is refundable if you change your mind. But then you need to go through the website. As you can see, for more information, check our website. You will need to check the website on the refund policy. Right. This is also another thing that you can consider when you want to apply for a new for a new, for a university because universities will have different refund policies. So you might want to know that in the event that you change your mind, now what is the procedure and after how long we, are you going to get your refund, the refund of your money? Right, it's quite important. Now there are entry requirements, and most of these things I think you you have to go through them when you find time. Right, so you go through the entry requirement, entry, entry qualifications, uh, the language requirements as well, and then there are other requirements in case in case there's like, um, I don't know, I'm not sure for it, to be honest. So it's portfolio requirements, portfolio is a proof of basic skills of art, it consists of twelve. You know what? This this part I think will be depending will depend on on the program that you want this these are the requirements are specifically for graphics design if you're not doing graphics design and you see that there, there is this thing going out other requirements most probably these requirements will be different right so you just go through the program if you think this is the right program for you and that's the one that you want you then come to this place, right? As you can see here, it says application period has ended. The period that has ended is the one for, for the full semester, this one on top, right? Because the full semester is the one that is currently undergoing. It has already started. So application has ended. You can no longer apply for this one. But the next semester is the spring semester and application is already open. The deadline is 20 January, as you can see, 20 January, 2025. Of course, uh, this time is in Central European time, but the date is the same, 20 January. Even if you are in any other time zone, the date is the same, it's 20 January, 2025. So you need to keep this in mind. And I encourage you, I recommend that you start the application process today, start it now, because there has been uh, so a lot of delays that are going on, especially when it comes to the embassy and giving out and giving out um, what are these called and giving out dates, right? Because you need dates to for an appointment to get your visa and stuff, your visa application and stuff. There are a lot of delays, so I I would encourage that you start now while there's still time, so that when those delays come, they won't affect your your process as much. Right. So if you decide that this is the one that you want, you then go to apply now. 
when you click on apply now it should take you to this page this page now i'm assuming that you don't have an account that is already created right if you have an account that is already created all you need to do is to sign in yeah you, you put your your email address and then you click continue or you can log in with either facebook google or linkedin or you can use a pass key right but now we are applying as a new applicant so if you're a new applicant you click here this is where you click and then you enter your email so i'm just going to enter in email continue the process but if i don't have that link i i, I can see i i had not read it before but it says if you are asked for a pin code please use this ah so when you when you click on the link you will need to enter this passcode right on your phone so i'm going to do it right now okay so this is my email and this is the email that i received it says register your dream id apply at group of universities right so i'll click here to register and i need to enter that code right so let me just check it over here eight triple six right so it's eight triple six like this and then verify if i verify now it will take me here where i have to enter my full name and choose a password so i will do that i'll just enter it name and surname i just don't want to enter my actual full name because i was already a student and i already have an account so obviously it won't make sense right and then i'm just going to try to enter something hopefully i remember my password and then you click on register after you register it will take you here now as you can see it has changed it has changed it back to polish all you need to do is to come to your top right corner and click here so that it translate it translates everything to english right of course the name is already there the email is already there and then all you need to do is to enter your phone number so i'm just gonna enter random numbers obviously it's plus four eight one two three four five six seven eight nine i'm just going to enter that and then citizenship again you have to change it make sure you change to your correct citizenship and if someone has referred you to apply right you then enter their reference code here right i do not have a reference code right and at the same time i'm not marketing vistula universities i'm just using it as an example but in the event that I was a marketing university, Vistula University, obviously I would provide you a reference code that you will need to enter here. But I do not have a reference code because I'm not marketing. I'm just trying to show you how you can apply. Right? You need to enter a reference code if you happen to have it. If you do not have it, it's still fine. Then all you need to do is to click on any of these, not any as well, but just go through all these so some of these will include like marketing emails if you want to receive marketing emails and those can be quite like exhausting you might not want that those because they'll just fill your email and to be honest most of us don't even read all those marketing emails right so i'm just going to click continue Now it says what? It says success. Now priorities is going to show you information, right? This information you might want. In fact, you need to go through this, this information, right? And then profile. This is the profile. This will be your profile. Exactly. This is the name. You can still change it. Your surname. You can still change it. Uh, your gender. You can select your gender. 
your citizenship, everything you can create. This is your profile. You create this profile, right? Do you have a postcard? Katapolaka, no, you don't have. Uh, you have a postcard number, no, you don't have, right? You, all this is self explanatory. But here, a formal photo. I want you to take note of this because the photo that you upload here is going to be a, the photo that they are going to put on your student ID card. So make sure you select a good photo for, for this, this part here. Because if you just put any random photo just because you want to get done with this application, you'll find that face, that photo on your student ID. So please make sure you put uh, a decent ID, a decent photo. And then on this side, you can see there's applic my applications. This is where you track your application. There will be messages. The university will communicate with you through the messages. There will be tasks, right? We'll go through that. So you, cre you create everything. You just go through all this and find out if there's something that's needed, right? You, you, you submit. As you can see here, no documents, right? It says no documents have been uploaded. So you just go through what documents do they need. You just read everything that's here and if you find out the documents they need you just upload right so you just update everything from this part right this is more of your profile they want to know you better and they want also the documents that are required for your, your application right at the end when you are done you click on submit right so when you are still here you still haven't submitted you can still save it as a draft right but once you fill out, fill out everything, and once you think you are done, you then click on submit. Because what happens is sometimes they are going to require some documents that you haven't prepared yet, right? And you just want to save your application in the system. And then once you have your documents, you come back, you log in, you upload your documents, and then you finally submit. You see, here it says time until deadline. It's Three months so you have three months from today from the day uh from the day that this video has been recorded right so from the day that you will make until the deadline remember the deadline was also indicated when you selected the program if you remember a few minutes ago there was a deadline we said 20 january so this is time until 20 january right so i'm not gonna submit it because obviously this is just a fake profile this is a profile that i've just used to intro to kind of show you how you can do it right so if you want you can come to your application obviously this is your application this is the status of your application right you come back even if after you submit you can still come back here and check and check and check and check so right now it's still a draft obviously because we haven't submitted it you can come to your tasks, all the tasks. This is the things that are remaining, these things that are lacking on your on your application. So you need the proof of language, the proof of English language proficiency, you need the high school diploma plus the copy, you need to complete your portfolio, right? All these things. But in general, this is how you apply. So the only thing that is that is left, you find it here on the tasks. Once you have completed all this, you then go back and you are, and you submit your your application. So if you come here on my application, shows you this, and then you just say view application or edit application, right? So it's loading. This is your application. As you can see, this is the name and everything. This is what you're studying. And this will be your profile. As you can see, it's, it's blank because I didn't even enter anything. This will be your profile. This is your be. This will be your application. If you want to download it, you can get the PDF. If you want to print, you can do the same. So I think this is all for today. This is how you can get sub. Uh, sorry, you can get admitted at a Polish university. Once you are done with this, then your application process has started and it has gone underway in the event that they have accepted your application they will send you via email you know the email that you entered uh, at first they will contact you and they 
can also contact you through messages over here, right? So you just be on the lookout in the system and on your emails. They will give you what is known as a conditional offer letter. This conditional offer letter will just tell you that they will accept you on condition of one to three things. They will, they will tell you the condition, right? Most of it will be probably for you to first pay the tuition for your first year. So after you pay the tuition for your first year and they received it, they will send you what is known as the acceptance letter. The acceptance letter is the one that indicates that you have been accepted into the university. And that is the same acceptance letter that you will use at the embassy because at the embassy they will need to see if you have been truly uh, accepted into a Polish university. So that is the same letter that you will need to provide. So this is everything about everything you need to know about applying at a Polish university. It's really simple. It's really easy. And if you found this video useful, please don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like the video or share it with your colleagues. Those you think or you know might be interested in applying at a university in Poland, this is the process. And until next time, see you.